New reporting tonight on a big budget blunder for Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. Well, for the first time, teachers are weighing in on what a $190 million loss could mean for them. CMS leaders say they do anticipate cutting positions when the money stops next week. Queen City News reporter Casey Jones live from Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools tonight in the headquarters on Stewart Andrew Boulevard. And Casey, what did you learn? Well, in the building behind me, the finance team has been crunching the numbers, trying to avoid laying people off as the district faces a $190 million funding gap. Now, teachers we spoke to say they were expecting this to happen, but they want the district to search for additional funding before cutting jobs. Charlotte Mecklenburg school leaders are working to keep as many staff as possible when federal pandemic funding ends this year. In an email to staff, CMS Superintendent Dr. Crystal Hill says the district will lose $190 million in elementary and secondary school emergency relief with $60 million of that money directly tied to people. The email says the district is expecting a decrease in funded positions and will be realigning roles and responsibilities, which has some staff concerned. The key thing to keep in mind is our student experiences. How are our student experiences going to be affected when we move or shift people or, or, or think that resources need to be realigned? Congress allocated ESSER funds in 2020 to cover expenses related to COVID. Federal authorities declared the end of the pandemic in 2023 and districts across the nation lost that funding. In the letter, Dr. Hill says the team is working to keep students first and deliver core student experiences. Amanda Thompson, president of Charlotte Mecklenburg Association of Educators, says students and staff are still dealing with pandemic problems. We know that gap, that wound is still there and still, and still ongoing. So the question is, um, where now, like who's going to pick up the bill? And I think that we know that our state government has money and reserves to pick up that bill. So then why are they not stepping up to take care of the village? A recent survey from Education Week revealed that 48% of administrators plan to use state funds to cover outstanding expenses. More than a third say they plan to rely on local tax revenue and Title I funds. Thompson says it's time for local and state leaders to step up to keep students and staff on track. Right now we have budget seasons and we have to understand that our students cannot suffer because of a decision that was made in a vacuum. We know what our kids need and we have to be there to stand in the gap and to close those gaps. And it has to be a holistic community support. There are obviously still a lot of questions about what this funding loss means to students and staff. Although CMS Superintendent Dr. Hill agreed to speak with us today, her communications team has punted that interview until Tuesday when we're told she will answer our questions on this. The Board of Education is also getting a presentation of the budget from the Finance Department on Monday, so we will have a better idea of the impact when all of that happens. Reporting live from South Charlotte, Casey Jones, Queen City News. Yeah.